Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to stay updated with my content. Today I'm going to be filming a very highly requested and a video that I hope will be very helpful to any of you who are starting out in makeup or you're just completely lost and need a little bit of help. I'm going to be showing you what my favorite brushes are. Now, as a small disclaimer, we are very limited for the amount of brushes that we have here, so I have not tried Sigma and Sephora and a whole bunch of brushes, but these are just my current favorites, brushes that I can get a hold of, and ones that I've tried and tested and really, really love. So with that being said, let's go through a few of my favorites. So to start, I'm going to talk about my favorite brushes for applying my base makeup, so my foundation, powder, and concealer. Now lately, my absolute favorite way to apply my foundation is the NYX 03 brush. It is a medium sized round buffing brush that I just find so quick and easy to just swirl on and it gets my makeup on in no time. Brush marks are very very rare with this because the bristles are so soft. This is from NYX so I bought mine at Clix in the waterfront but NYX is sold at most Clix's throughout South Africa and this is just my absolute favorite brush for applying foundation. It does the job really quickly, the foundation looks very seamless on my skin and it doesn't soak up too much product which I really like. Then for concealer, lately my favorite brush has been this medium sized Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name or a number. I got this in a set for Christmas so I don't know what the name of this is but it's kind of like a small paddle brush, you know the ones that you normally apply foundation with, and it really just pats the product in so nicely. I, I've inserted clips of me using every brush that I talk about today. It just places the product so nicely and spreads it so nicely across my skin. I just really like this style of brush for concealer lately. Then one of the other tools that I really enjoy using to blend in, you can use this for foundation and concealer. I just find it a bit of a mission, so if you have time and you really don't want brush strokes on your face, then the best thing to do is use a makeup sponge. This one is from Real Techniques, so this is one that you can get here. The other brand is called Beauty Blender. That one is incredible, but we can't get them here. But I think this one is just as good. It's soft. I like the shape of it because it's very convenient and you can use the edge to really like chisel out your cheekbones if you need it. And there are just so many uses for this sponge in particular. Basically, all you do is run this under some water, squeeze it until it doubles in size. It's a lot smaller than this when it's dry, but when it's wet, it really melts the makeup with your skin, if that makes sense. One thing I will say is that it does soak up quite a bit of product, but I would recommend washing this almost every time you use it, like every one to three times you use this because product can build up in this quite easily and I've seen pretty gross stuff on YouTube about product building up and the bacteria, but wash these as often as you can. Then for powder, the two brushes that I use the absolute most and I just do need these. This is the MAC 133 brush and it is a tulip looking brush but it is flat on the one side and rounded on the other. I really like this brush for setting the concealer under my eyes because the shape is just I can get right under there and it doesn't make my powder or my makeup look caked and it's so so soft so I don't it's really really good for that area because as you know the area under your eyes is very sensitive and this is really really good. Next my absolute favorite brush for applying powder all over my face is this Eco Tools brush. It doesn't have a name on it but it should be pretty easy to find. These are available at Clicks, and they don't have that many on display, so this one should be pretty easy to find. It's just a really big powder brush. It's so soft, it doesn't move my foundation around. I normally just take a bunch of my powder, tap it off, and then just pat all, all over my face with this, and it is so great. I, this is the best one I've tried. I've tried ones from MAC and a few other brands, and this is my favorite one. Next for eyes, there are four brushes that I think are necessities when it comes to doing eyes. The first one, which I think is by far the most popular brush that I've heard of when it comes to eyes and one that I think you absolutely need because it can be used for multiple things. This is the MAC 217 brush. It is a small, white, very fluffy, very soft eyeshadow brush. And because of the shape of it, it is kind of pinched. It's not completely round. But it's fluffy enough that you can blend in your crease, but you can also pack color onto your lid with this. It's just a really, really all-round great, great brush to have. And I would recommend owning multiple of these because you always need, you know, you need a brush to apply product and then want to blend things out. And if you've got a brush with product on it, it makes things just messy and really difficult. Then to pack color onto your lid, I have this MAC 239 brush. This is a small, almost rounded, square-shaped brush. And this is 
the best one I've used to pack color onto my lids with. I've tried a few other brands and this one just does a really, really good job of packing the color on and really, really well. Another tip that you can use is to dip your brush into, into the eyeshadow, especially if it's a shimmery color, and spray it with a makeup setting spray because when you wet the product, it makes the color super, super strong. So if you want a really, really intense color on your lid, that's a tip that you can try. Next is the pencil brush. The one that I have here is by Barbara Hoffman Professional. These brushes are available at Discam, and I really, really like this pencil brush. The other one that I have is also from MAC. It is the MAC 219 brush, and this is also a really, really great pen pencil brush. So I normally have two of these, one to apply the highlight on the inner corner of my eye, and the other to blend out whatever color I've used on my lower lash line. Next, a brush that I don't use on my eyes every time I do my makeup, so this is kind of like a bonus extra, but I just find that this brush is pretty helpful and it can be used for many things. So this is the angled brush from MAC, this is the 263 brush, and I find this incredibly helpful for either filling in my eyebrows or using an eyeshadow to do a liner on my lashes, which I've done today, or you could even dip this into a gel eyeliner and create a wing with this brush. There are just many uses for this brush, but I don't use it every time, but this one I find pretty good. Now for bronzers, blushes, and highlights, I have three brushes that are just absolutely, you need these in your kit. First for bronzer, this is the best brush I've used. This is the MAC 168 brush and the shape of this is incredible. It's tapered so it comes to a point on the one side which is just great for applying contouring and being pretty specific about applying your bronzer. So sometimes I even use this to kind of like roughly contour my nose. And then it's still fluffy enough and big enough on the top of it to really buff out and blend out bronzer on the rest of my face. This one is great and I use it every single day. And for blusher, I use the Real Techniques Blush Brush. This is a big and fluffy tulip shaped brush. It's incredibly soft and because it's so fluffy, I find that I don't have to be too concerned about just getting a solid dot of blush on my face. It really just disperses the color so beautifully. Then for highlight, I use this Inglot 6SS brush. Now, I got this years ago. I've been to Inglot and I haven't seen it, so if you can find it, definitely, definitely get this brush. It is my all-time favorite highlight brush. It's kind of a big, fluffy eyeshadow brush, but I love using this for highlight just because it's fluffy enough that I don't get a strip of highlight on the tops of my cheeks. So I really just dust this on the tops of my cheeks and it's small enough that I can use on my brow bone, whoops, on my brow bone, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And I just find that this is so helpful. It's one brush and it just does a really good job of applying my highlights. Next for two extras that I think are also quite helpful to have. This is the Real Techniques 300 brush. This is such a gorgeous brush. It's from their Bold Metals collection, so it looks stunning. But I really love this brush for applying liquid bronzers. Now, I don't wear liquid bronzers every day, but I found that when I wanted to wear it, I really struggled to find a brush that could apply it nicely. Um, not every brush can apply a liquid product, and this one I've just found, because it's synthetic hairs, it really does such a great job of buffing that product out. Then the other brush that I think is kind of an extra but I think is also really helpful, this is the NYX 14 brush. This is a small concealer brush and the shape of this I think is just so helpful for many things. So two of the things that I love using this for is if I put lipstick on my lips and I'm kind of, it kind of looks feathered or it's like leaked a bit or I've gone out the lines a little bit, I just put a bit of concealer on the tip of this brush and I carve out where my lip is and just correct those mistakes. Also, if I've gone a bit crazy on my brows and they're looking a bit too bushy and wild, I like taking concealer again and just carving it out and making it look a lot neater. And that's what I love using this brush for. I find it very, very helpful. And if you make mistakes, like I do sometimes, then this is very helpful to have. So those are all of my favorite brushes. As you can see, we are very limited for the brands that we get here. So my brush collection is mostly MAC, Real Techniques, and NYX. Um, but they all make really, really good brushes. And I don't like all the brushes from MAC or all the brushes from Real Techniques. So these are just the best ones that I find apply my makeup so beautifully. Real Techniques is available at a few Click stores across the country. NYX is also available at Clicks, And... 
Mac brushes are available at Mac. Mac brushes are pretty expensive, as you know, Nyx's, Nyx and Real Techniques are slightly cheaper. Still not the cheapest brushes that you can find, but they're insanely good quality and they do such a great job of applying my makeup. I hope you guys find this video helpful. It was actually my birthday just yesterday, so I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who wished me and helped make my day extra special. I had the most perfect day and it was a really great way to bring in 26. I'm 26 now, so that's pretty scary, but pretty cool. If you like this video and you'd like to see more makeup basics videos from me and about the kinds of products that I really enjoy using, then please let me know, give this video a thumbs up and just comment down below with any kind of suggestions that you have. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. First of all, 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 first of all,